70 years ago, this group of 35 young men created something out of nothing. It was the fall of 1948, and under the direction of legendary coach Don Odell, these pioneers played the first season of football in the history of Taylor University. In front of over 4,000 fans, the Trojans kicked off on September 24th against Huntington. It was a rough first year on the gridiron for TU, as they went winless in their inaugural season. But the Trojans wouldn't have to wait long to notch that first victory, getting revenge on the Forsters with a 12-0 shutout on September 16, 1949. The 1950s saw TU play its first home game on campus, a 12-0 win over rival Anderson. The game was played on the grass infield of what is now known as the George Glass Track and Field Complex. John Wheeler was a member of those TU teams in the early 50s. Well, I guess my first memory was uh how little I was. Uh, we had some pretty good sized players in that first year that I was there and uh, some really good ball players. Don Granitz, and, uh, Johnny Nelson, Mal Cofield. There were just some really good ball players on that team. And I, I never played high school ball because I was such a little guy and I was still a pretty small guy when I got to Taylor. Weighed about 160. But um, they were good ball players, and I saw a lot of it from the bench and uh, enjoyed it so much. In 1954, Taylor made history by playing Fisk in the first interracial sporting event within the state of Tennessee. The Trojans would win 32-0. to zero. The 1960s would turn out to be one of the greatest eras in the program's history. Led by Hall of Fame coach Bob Davenport, the Trojans would win four conference championships, including three in a row from 1962 to 1964. There was a camaraderie, uh, uh, just a liking to get together, and uh, a lot of fun things. Uh, it wasn't all serious football. It was a lot of just good male fellowship, and uh, we accidentally stumbled onto a run of winning enough games to take three conference championships and uh, so it was a friendship thing uh, and we also had them living most of them down here in the in the old shacks we called grill hall and uh, a lot of great fellowship took place there there's unbelievable things and i'm just now like a dad hearing about some of the antics that took place in the shacks during those period of time those three teams were the first to record a winning record in three consecutive seasons. Future TU Hall of Famer Dave Castelline was dominant in the backfield, as the fullback was named an All-American in 1963. A 24-21 win over Hanover in November of 1972 would be win number 100 in the program's history. Later in the decade, current head coach Ron Korfmacher quarterbacked the Trojans. He says each senior day from his time as a player sticks with him today. Just the last time you're suiting it up and playing with those guys and the pride that everyone played with, and it and played that way all year, but it just seemed to come together the final game and the, the memory of the final game, you know, in the final game of a season, final game playing with a group of guys seemed to maybe connect more or, or you know, kind of uh, freeze in time a little bit more. Following 28 seasons inside the George Glass Track and Field Complex, Taylor moved to a new home in 1980. The new stadium was named in memory of Jim Wheeler, who was diagnosed with cancer a few months before he was supposed to graduate from TU in 1979. Jim would sadly pass away later that year. I think it was just a great monument to Jim's involvement at Taylor. and, and uh, He just, uh, he was a leader, great guitarist, had a contract to go play with uh, the Continentals, which played a lot at that time at Disney World and around. Never got to fulfill that contract, but the Lord knows all about it. Patrolling the Taylor sidelines for most of the 1980s would be Jim Law. The future Hall of Famer would rack up 41 wins between 1982 and 1989. The admiration Law has for the university is easy to see. The people that I worked for at Taylor were all great mentors to me, helped my faith grow, and uh, it, to me it was the, the uh, just the highlight of a coaching career. 
that uh, when I finally decided to say that's it, uh, I, I felt complete. Uh, and Taylor University was a huge part of making that possible. The 1990s would see the Trojans move to a new conference, the Mid-States Football Association, and pick up the program's 200th win in 1997. Before closing out the decade, TU would win back-to-back -back MSFA championships in 98 and 99. The Purple and Gold would also collect their first ever NAIA playoff win, defeating Missouri Valley 38 to 12. The 2009 season would start with a bang, as the Trojans would play their first night game in program history, defeating rival Anderson 31 to 16. The highlight of the season would come on Halloween at Marion University. Ryan Magnuson hauled in a single game record six touchdown passes, including the game winner on the final play of the game. <laughs> to close the season, T would also defeat perennial power St. Francis 23-16. One of the more memorable wins in recent years came during homecoming 2014, when the Trojans knocked off number eight Robert Morris in overtime. The TU defense made a goal line stand, forcing a fumble with less than a minute to play in regulation. After holding RMU to a field goal, the Trojan offense would find the end zone to secure the win. Two-time first team All-American Adam Souter recalls the day vividly. It was awesome. Um, I mean, I can still remember uh, running out on the field and like jumping on top of the pile and getting guys thrown on top of me and stuff like that. And I mean, it was... It was one of those awesome feelings where you put in the work and everything comes together and you are successful. Um, and like locker room and you know the next week we we're kind of riding that high and I think that just fuels for you for the rest of the season. Throughout the history of the Taylor football program, nothing stands out more than their matchups with Anderson. The two schools met on the gridiron 65 times, with the first meeting coming in 1949 and the final contest being in 2015. During the 1990 season, the coveted wagon wheel was introduced. Taylor would dominate those final meetings, winning the last eight showdowns. Overall, TU held a 14-12 advantage in wagon wheel games. Taylor did not trail in a game against Anderson after 2008 and outscored the Ravens 210-27 over the final four games. The final game of the rivalry was played inside the newly named Turner Stadium. The Trojans won 51-10. In all, the Taylor football program has won six conference championships, produced 37 NAIA All-Americans, and 30 members of the TU Athletics Hall of Fame. And ask anyone associated with the program, and they will say that TU football has given them more than they could have dreamed of. I think... The thing I remember most isn't the practice sessions or the games and that kind of thing. It's the phone calls or the letters and the, uh, the fellowship that has continued. And the statement that's most consistent is uh, the best thing that ever happened to him was Taylor University football and the fellowship and uh, with the teams. I think Taylor football represents rich relationships over all these years and eras, okay, and meaningful relationships, and many of those relationships are discipleship and Christ-centered nature, you know, and, and growing in that direction, and, and so it represents those rich relationships. I think it also represents a lot of battles and, and a deep brotherhood that's just fought out on the football field and fought out in games, victories, and in defeats, but it's also fought out in the respects in practice and in playing this great game. It's more about, more than just being on a team, it's being part of a brotherhood and being part of a, a group of guys who work towards a common goal. Um, and you have these, you make these friendships and relationships that are gonna last longer than the four or five years that you spend here. They're gonna last the 40 years afterwards. 70 years of Taylor University football, every man a Trojan.